I'm Suzanne Mendonza and I'm one of the directors of Dance Mode UK Limited. Hi, um, I'm Dawn D. Mendonza, the other director of Dance Mode. And the reason why we're here is because we want to let you know about our new launch for the next um, dance training course. We've recently finished one um, and that went really well. All the students um, passed with really high grades. So well done if you're watching this. Um, and we're looking forward to the next one. So this is why we're here really, just to introduce ourselves and to let you know what we're about. Okay, so um, you're probably looking around right now on ways on how you can get qualified. And maybe you've come across um, you know, a few other institutions that are also offering a dance teacher qualification. Now, we're not going to sit here and brag and say ours is the best or anything like that. That's not what we're about. We just really want to be straight with you and just let you know really the truth about these dance qualifications, okay? Because, you know, it really does upset us when people come onto our course saying that, you know, they, they've been onto other courses, but then the qualification they've got is not actually going to be the key to actually getting them all of these other jobs which are available for them because the qualification is not recognised. So yeah. tell us a bit more about our qualification, Suzanne. Well, just going back one step, I mean, the course we've just done, we had one student come onto the course um, and she couldn't thank us enough because she's now realised that the course she's done, it's with an accredited association, her qualification is something that she can use internationally, she can move forward with it. But she almost put herself onto another course um, where there was no real accreditation associated with such courses. So we thought we'd make this video to give some tips on what to look for when you're looking for a dance training course. And the first thing is, you know, you've got to decide yourself what kind of course you want to do. Is it a distance learning course or are you committed to like take a couple of weekends off or a couple of days off to actually go and learn in a, in a classroom environment and network with other dancers? Um, you have to decide this for yourself. Also, you've got to think about where you're going to train, you know, is, is it accessible, can you get there, um, as well as the cost of the course. Think about, but more importantly, think about, you know, the course you're doing to get qualified, what does it lead to? Like we said before, is this qualification accredited with anybody? Can you use it for further studies? Can you open your own dance school with it? Can you put children or students through an exam process with, with this qualification? So important because this is your this is your um, your career for some of you, this is your next step forward. And if you get this bit wrong, it's like going back to the beginning again. So it's essential you do your due diligence, research, you know, you've got the internet there. Pick up the phone, ring these so-called associations that, you know, that qualifications are meant to be associated with. Ask them questions. Ask questions. Ask, ask, ask. Get your answers before you book onto any course. So the, the qualification we provide you with is the IDTA qualification. It stands for International Dance Teachers Association and you can feel free to check out their website and check to see that they are a legit association. It's the IDTA.co.uk. Check out the website. You know, you'll see that it's a worldwide qualification and there's contact details there. You can call them. You can find out more about what the qualification is going to provide you once you are qualified. Okay, I mean, it's not us like saying, you know, we're, you're going to get the dance mode qualification because that is going to mean absolutely nothing to you. You know, if you took, if you took the, you know, a dance mode qualification out there um, into, onto the streets, into gyms, into schools, into wherever you're looking to, um, you know, get a dance teacher mm. job, then it's not really mm. a proper accredited a qu a qualification where they, you know, the IDTA is a proper qualification and what we're here to do is to really just give you that that path we are your trainers so that you get the idta qualification yeah i mean if you were to say you were trained through the training vehicle of dance mode so we're like the middle body really between you getting qualified um we do have a good name because we do associate ourselves with the best caliber of lecturers from the idta so on our course on the dance mode training course we use um IDTA examiners, lecturers, so you get the best training. Um, so again, if you're looking for any dance teacher training course, who are the people training you? What's their calibre? You know, where, what's their background? How do you know that they know what they're talking about? So you need to know, you need to speak, have someone train you who's an ex expert in their field. They need to know the syllabus, they need to know what you need to do to get through this exam successfully so important and not only that you know it's you know, once you have got this qualification you're, you're going to need to know 
uh, how to use it, right? Like maybe you're looking to open up your own dance school, yeah. you know. And this is the other things which we also offer on our course. You know, we help you with your business structures. We we've got how many years? Over ten years worth of experience in the dance industry. And our lecturers, they have over. 40 years <laughs> they have over 40 years of dance experience in the dance industry and I'm telling you that information alone what they can provide is, is just so valuable yeah. to you it's going to make such a difference um, to your head start in this industry yeah I mean Dawn's absolutely right what they can give you on a one-to-one -one, because they're actually there face-to-face -face coaching you is invaluable they're able to share lots of knowledge you'll be able to ask them lots of questions um, so apart from that you know what other modules in in the course syllabus are we covering is it a comprehensive course is it covering everything you need to know to be a legit dance teacher and, and like Dawn said you know where are you gonna how are you gonna use this qualification how can you further it I know with the IDTA associate in freestyle dance you can use it to go into further studies you can go to Buckinghamshire University and enroll onto a foundation degree course um, I know this for a fact I know ex-students have actually done this um, you can also use it to open your own dance school, we mentioned this before, to progress further in the RDTA so you go up the ladder in terms of being a professional, um, you can train up to be a licentiate and then a fellowship become an examiner if you wanted. So it opens a lots of doors for you, so again, when you're looking for a dance teacher training course, where does it lead to, what, how can you use this qualification to in, improve your career and move forward? Um, I hope that's been useful. <laughs> I hope quite Claire, passionate I hope about Claire it. I've cleared a few things up for you, but yeah. anyway, this is our video just to say that we're starting our launch now. We're getting ready for our, our next course. Doors are going to be opening really soon, but to be notified about when our doors are opening, because our courses get filled up really quickly, all you need to do is enter your name and email address over there, and that will take you through the process of our launch, which means we're going to be uploading more and more and more and more videos um, <laughs> towards the launch date to when we actually open the doors to um, take on um, new bookings, right, for our next course. So leave your name and email address, and we look forward to seeing you on the other side. Thanks so much for watching. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye.